All right. Let's come back to our DC machine. We have uh, learned the separately excited DC motto. We have learned DC Shan motto. Now let's move on to DC series motto. Now the characteristic of DC series motto is that it has a very high uh, initial torque. Okay. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about that later. But let's move on to the circuit analysis of a DC series motto. Now DC series motto. You notice that the circuit now, the field winding resistance is in series with the armature circuit. Whereas in the Shan motor, it was in parallel. In separately excited, it was separate circuit on its own. But now this is in series. One series circuit, only one current. So for this circuit here, my supply voltage is 500 volt. The armature current is 60 ampere. And the field winding resistance is 0.2 ohm. Armature winding is 0.1 ohm. And EB is an unknown and it's running at a speed of 1005 RPM. Now you notice that the RF and RA value, the resistance value, are rather small now because they are in series, right? They cannot be too big, otherwise, it will impede the current. Now the current here we call it the armature current. Nothing wrong if you call it the light current or the field, cu field current. But we prefer that you call it armature current. There's a reason behind it in our mathematical analysis later. If you call it IA, it's less confusing. So now let us do our normal mathematics to calculate EB. Right? EB is e by using Kirchhoff's voltage law is going to be S minus IA RF minus IA RA. Right? Total voltage minus the voltage across here, the voltage across here, that will be your back EMF. So in this case here, it's equal to 500 minus 60 times 0 0.2 minus 60 times 0 0.1, right? Or we factorize it, 60 over 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1, right? And if we use our calculator, it will be 500 minus 60 multiplied by 3, and that is equal to 482 volts, okay? So that is the back EMF value. Now to calculate the power developed is EB multiplied IA same. It's the same uh, formula. B times I. EB times I is IA. So it's equal to 482 multiplied 60. Right? And that gives us 28920 watt. So that's the power developed. Now to calculate the torque developed same formula, 60 divided by 2 pi n, multiply power developed. Right? So that is 60 divided by 2 pi, and the speed is 1500, and the power developed is 28920. So use my calculator. Right? So that gives me 184.11 newton meters. Right? Now you notice that the mathematics is the same, the way that we do things, is the circuit that is different. Okay? Recall what are the different circuits that we have learned. Separately excited DC motor, which is you have two separate circuits, the magnetic circuit is separate. Shan motor, where your RF is in parallel. And series motor, RF is in series. Okay? Now we will learn about the characteristic of these three motors uh, later, so that uh, you, you will understand uh, why we have these three different motors. Okay? Yes, thank you.